Our next guests have styled some of the biggest names in the entertainment and celebrity world. Meghan Markle, for one, uh, Tiffany Haddish, Mindy Kaling, Mary J. Blige, uh, Anne Marie Medawake. Just kidding. <laughs> uh, the label Greta Constantine has come a long way since it first launched back in 2006 and all month. We have been taking a look at some of our country's most in-demand fashion designers, the ones who are pushing the boundaries, making a mark on the international scene. Kirk Pickerskill, Stephen Wong are two of those. Welcome to your morning. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. People are fascinated by the name Greta Constantine. Let them know where it came from. <laughs> it's a good story. Well, Kirk and I started the business 14 years ago, and we needed a name for the business, so we each picked a name that was dear to us. So Greta's my mom's name, and Constantine is Kirk's grandfather's name. I love that. Yeah. Strong family connections, and I know that both of you have really strong valued family connections. Yes. Uh, when you guys started 14 years ago, did you ever imagine I would be running off a list like that, wearing your designs? Well, as a kid, when you have, you aspire to be something and you have your dreams, you know, that's part of the dream is to, especially the industry that we're in, mm -hmm. is to dress these type of women. And so when it's actually a speed dial away, an email away, these kind of things are the most exciting things, something that we weren't even prepared for, because in the past, I'd say four or five years, it's, the surge has been incredible. Yeah. You've, you call them Greta girls. I see yes. it on social media. Um, did you ever have a dream Greta girl? And is she wearing Greta Constantine? A dream Greta girl? No. It's, you know what, we never, the thing is, it's, people would be interested to know that we never know when these celebrities are yeah. gonna actually wear our clothes. Really? So it's, yeah, it's, uh, we could be making something for them, but you never know if they're actually gonna wear it until they actually wear it. So yeah. we find out the same time everyone else finds okay, out. Okay, well then tell us yeah. what that moment is like. Either you get the phone call saying you're gonna be dressing so-and-so, or a picture shop up, shows up and Meghan Markle's in your green skirt. What's that like for you guys? No, it's, it's, it's funny. The Meghan Markle is hilarious because it's Jen Mulroney. <laughs> she calls me like yeah, Jen, yeah. Jen, <laughs> sorry, 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 Jessica. And she's like, um, texts me in the morning, and I'm like, she's like, she's wearing it, she's wearing it. But we kind of knew what was going on, but we were not to say anything. And sure. then we're kind of the people that we don't really want to know until they actually wear it because you don't want to get disappointed, nor do you want to start spreading rumors and it doesn't happen. So then we were so excited about that. And then that was like a whole whirlwind of madness. Amazing, yeah. and, and a lot of times, for a lot of people, that was the first time they heard your name, but certainly not the last. I want to fast forward, so now we're 14 years later, here's your 2020 collection. Uh, one thing, that I've, been, I've been to your atelier, and it's full of color, <laughs> full of color. How has your label evolved over the years? Well, it's funny because when we started the brand, it was jerseys. We did a lot of jerseys, so it was very linear, a lot of drapery but it was very different than what it looks like now. It's, uh, it took a bit of time for us to come up with our Greta Constantine DNA, our look, and uh, I think it's established now. <laughs> yeah, I would say yeah. so. You've worked with big names like Tiffany Haddish, Angela Bassett, uh, Jamila Jamil, Amy Poehler, Catherine O'Hara. I mean, this is an incredible list. Taraji? Taraji, <laughs> yeah. She was one of the first great exactly. girls. Right? Yeah. Mar um, Mary J. Blige. Is there somebody you still would want to work with? I, I wouldn't say one person in particular. Because the whole excitement yeah. of it all is that one day you will be a Greta girl. Yeah. So, so you gotta wait and see. No, no, no one's yeah. specific. I... There's, there's a lot of strong women of color who love your mm -hmm. designs. Why do you think that is? Why are they drawn to your clothes? Um, I think it's just, it has to do with the fact that they, it's, it's almost a trickle effect. You know, once they see another woman looking great in an outfit, they want to find out who the designer is, where they can get that clothes, and how can I look that same way? Yeah. Having been fortunate enough to wear some of your designs, <laughs> I will tell you, they allow you to feel feminine and strong mm -hmm. at the same time. And not all clothes can do that. No, exactly. They, they, you feel like you're wearing really good armor. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, no, they feel great. Um, you've expanded to the Middle East. Yeah. What's, what's it like to design for that market? Oh, it's amazing. Well, they really appreciate a good dramatic look in the Middle East. Okay. <laughs> so we, uh, well, it all began when, I mean, we used to, our, one of our first stores that carried us was Harrods. Mm -hmm. And they have a strong, you know, customer base in the Middle East. And they latched on to us then. Last year, we were fortunate enough to go to the Middle East. We went to Dubai wow. to check it out for ourselves. And we were just dazzled. Yeah. Yeah, and we learned so much from dressing in the Middle East. It's a, a different way of dressing, and that's called, you know, it starts off, you, this word modest. 
Everybody about this modest dressing. And you think, okay, modest dressing is being dressed from head to toe, covering your whole entire body. But it's right. not necessarily that. It's different lengths of skirts. You have to cover up certain parts of your body without it looking boring. So it's challenged us to make our feminine clothes even more feminine without being boring. Yeah, well, if anybody can fit that challenge, it is the two of you. <laughs> Thank you Thank so you. much for being here today. Oh, Congratulations on all your success. Thank you so much. All right, well, Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.